I saw on your Twitter feed this past week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm about to look at the Twitter feed. Um, <laughs> A, a bill that you have about um, SRO, school resource officers. Yes. Could you talk a little bit about that? At last session, we took on police reform, and it was a really large piece of legislation. But one of the things that I had wanted to see in the bill and that wasn't there was reform around school resource officers. Um, so I'd filed an amendment that didn't pass. Um, but in doing that work and in researching um, really the school to prison pipeline, it's very obvious that there are a lot of things that we could do to make school resource offices better. And so my bill is called an act relative to the location of school resource officers. And the location in the bill is the police station. And the reason for that is we don't need police officers in the schools. Our children are not, um, they're not suspects, they're not criminals, um, they're engaging in studies, and they're children. But I think that the, um, the level of involvement that we currently have with the police in schools is the wrong direction. So the governor can file laws with the legislature, we can pass them, or he can change things through regulation, which is very unilateral. And he did this for unemployment, and basically he said, if someone is unable to find childcare and they can't return to work, they can't get benefits. I know, right? It doesn't seem right. <laughs> because during the pandemic, if you couldn't find childcare, that was considered a valid reason to collect unemployment. And we know that our early childhood centers have just suffered during the pandemic. It's been incredibly hard for them. They are the true heroes. They've been open through the whole thing. They've put up with all kinds of regulatory changes, reduced classes, changes in staffing level. They've bought all of their PPE and their cleaning supplies on their own. And um, they're still not fully back up, and some of them are just closed for good. So I think we've lost over 15% of the child care centers in the state. So when you think about it, it's really tough. Now you pair that with people who are going through really challenging times economically and how expensive early childhood education is, and you really do have, you've hit a boiling point. So to say that you are gonna lose your unemployment benefits if you can't find child care felt really, really cruel. The Senate, uh, passed an amendment that Senator Jalen um, filed, and we got that exact same language in the House. We managed to defeat an amendment that tried to m water it down. And it was an exciting win, mostly for working families and for kids, um, particularly going into summer. Um, it's <laughs> yeah. really hard. And so back to Twitter, that was one of my <laughs> my tweets. You know, like 10 years ago, it took me over a year to find a spot for my child, um, and we weren't in a pandemic. I can't imagine what it's like for families now.